Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this image right here. <laughs> and we're going to do it all in Photo Director. Now the one downside to this is Photo Director doesn't have any 3D text capabilities. Hmm. Let's take a look. Yes, we're messing around with 3D text, one of my absolute favourites. I'm Harvey Roberts, this is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate that image. Now if you'd like to follow along, you just download an animal picture from the internet and you're good to go. Now this downside of course is Photo Director doesn't have any 3D text capabilities. So I'm going to show you how to create 3D text that's going to blow your mind. <laughs> As always, watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. Let's open up Photo Director. Create some 3D. <laughs> it was click on edit, go to the file menu top left here, create empty project. We're going to call this 3D text. I'm going to leave everything else the same, but the background, I'm going to use a solid color and I'm going to use just a white and I'm going to click OK. So here we have our first layer. Now I'm going to double click on the layer name and I'm going to change it to background. Like so. And now we need to add it in our text. So in the tools menu here on the right hand side, there's this T, you'll see this, click on it once. Now I'm using the Rockwell Extra Bold font. Um, it's a size of 100 and the color is black. And I'm going to click anywhere on the screen like so and I'm going to use a capital C to bring it in. I'm going to just bring in this borderline like so. So click once now on the left hand side where it says layer one and it'll change it to a C because we've already added the text. Now we need to resize this to give it some, make it look like it, it we want it to be 3D and we want to change its color later. So let's check, let's resize this first. So double click inside that text and you'll get this little line and then drag with your left mouse button pressed and cover it so it looks like this. And now here we can, on the right hand side, we can change it and I'm going to type in 700 because it only goes to 500. 700 and press enter. Let's move our little border around and then bring it up, kind of center it a little bit to get it centered. There we go. Perfect size for our font. Now we need to duplicate this. So right click on this layer, the C layer, right click and duplicate it. And now we've got two. So we've got a C copy and the C layer, see? Switch off the copy with the I icon here. We don't want to be looking at that. And make sure the C, the first one that we created, is selected. Click it your mouse, left click and hold it to cover it like so and change its color now to a light gray. Like so. And click OK. It doesn't matter what light gray you choose, but that's fine. Click outside and there you see we've got a C, we've got a C grey and a C black. Excellent. Now that the C is selected, we want to right click on this and go all the way down to the bottom on this and it says group layers. Click on group layers and you get this group folder. So double click this open and I'm going to change it to 3D text. Like so, press enter. Now if you open this up with the little arrow on the left hand side, you see our C, the first one that we created, is inside now this folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and move it as well. So this is how to do this. So make sure this is selected, the C. Go all the way over to our tools menu. On the right hand side, the second one down, it says Pick and move tool, click it once, and then go to our C on our picture here and click this once. Nothing will happen, but now we can go to our layer here, right click it, duplicate it, like so, and then use your right arrow key on your keyboard once. Just click it once and it'll move it one step. Right click on the copy tool, duplicate it and press your right arrow key again. 
and we're going to do this two more times. So right click our copy three, duplicate it and press the right arrow key. One more time, right click, duplicate, arrow key. So now we've got five copies of this C and it's extruded by five points. You're not going to see it very well yet, but we'll see it in a moment. Now what we need to do is we need to make this a little bit bigger because this is not, it's not big enough. So while the C copy five is selected, hold your shift key and click on the C layer, the one that we first created. So all five now are selected in blue. You can see that. Right click anywhere, it doesn't really matter which one you duplicate it. And now you'll see you'll have this C copy six five times. Press your arrow key on your keyboard, your right arrow key five times. One, two, three, four, five. Right click again, duplicate it, and then press your arrow key five times again. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. We've created our 3D text. We can close this up now because we're not going to go back into this anymore. And if you want to see your 3D text, just make the C copy now, this T that you see here, make it visible. And voila, there you now have 3D text. <laughs> How cool is that? Very interesting, right? So now we're going to wrap our picture around this. So make sure the C copy now is selected. And let's bring in our picture. So here in the top left corner where it says add new layer, this little square with a plus sign on it, photo layer from library. Now I have already downloaded a picture from Unsplash, a little picture of a fish from Rachel Hisco. Thank you, Rachel, for this picture. And it's a little clownfish, really cool. However, I don't want it to be this, I want it to be facing the opposite way. So if we go up, onto the top here, you'll see this icon that says flip selection horizontally. So just click it once and it's flipped it now horizontally. Go to the left hand side and drop the opacity down just enough so you can see the C underneath it like so. And now we're going to resize it with the corners on the picture and move it and put it into position where we want it. Now I want it to be just as it's coming like it's just coming off this this C. It, that looks like a good position. That looks fine for me. Bring up the opacity to 100%. Now we need to create two copies of this. So right click this your picture that you've downloaded. Duplicate it. Right click that one and duplicate that one as well. So now you should have three pictures on top of your T or on top of your C copy here. Choose the bottom one, the one that's just above the C copy. Make sure this is selected. Click your left mouse button and hold it and drag that picture down between the 3D text and your C copy. And it should look like this now. So you've got your copy above your 3D text underneath and this one picture here. Switch these three off, the top three. We don't want these on at the moment because we're concentrating on this one. So make sure this one is selected. Right click and apply a clipping mask. And what this is going to do is it's going to clip this fish onto that 3D text that we've just created, like so. Very cool. However, this gets more interesting now. So while this is still selected, go to the top here, this half moon icon, and it says add an adjustment layer. So click this once and click on exposure. And what this does now, this changes the exposure of this picture on this text. So if we drop the exposure down, you can see it's dropping the exposure. So I'm going to drop this to 1.5, minus 1.5. We're going to come back and change this a little bit later. So just you can leave it open or close it with the arrow. It doesn't really matter. Make sure our C copy now is visible. As you can see, it looks looking like it's wrapped on. And make sure the second picture, the one, the second from the top one is also visible and make sure this is now our selection. So the top one is not selected and not visible. This one is right click on it, apply a clipping mask. And what that does, of course, it clips it onto the black 
copy that we've just done so I apply a clipping mask and there you go it's now wrapped around our 3d text and now when you play around with the exposure you can see it changes it so cool <laughs> I'm gonna go to 1.7 that looks really nice I like that so now we need to get the fish coming out of this sea. We need that extra little piece. So we need to now go to the top picture that we have here, make it visible, make sure it's selected. Go all the way over to the right hand side to our tools menu. The third one down is the select area tool. Click it once. And just on the left hand side of it, you'll see this little tree icon thing here. And this will auto select the most prominent object, which of course is this clownfish. So let's click on that. Now there's a bit of a problem here. It's not selected the white, it's just selected the color. So to add everything into this, we're gonna click here on this brush. So make sure the left hand brush is selected, make sure the plus sign is selected and use a, br a, s a reasonable brush size. Mine's at 36 and you can see it looks like that. Click your left mouse button, hold, and just drag and just get those marching ants to go all around your picture and choose everything like so. Quickly do this. So everything is selected. There we go, very nice. So now it's all selected. Go to our left hand side to this white square with a black circle inside, add a mask, click mask, and there we go, we've are now masked out our fish. Control D on our keyboard to deselect it, the mask. And there you go. Now we need to delete this little bit out of here so we can see this. So while the mask is still selected here, go over to our pen tool, which is the fourth one down on the tools menu. Make sure you've got black selected. My brush is at 53, which is this size. And just brush where you want it deleted. Inside the sea. I'm going to brush it all out like so. And there you have your fish wrapped around a 3D letter. How very very cool so now let's duplicate this now to duplicate this is we're going to make sure that this is selected the top layer is selected hold down your shift key and choose the 3d text layer as well so all these layers now are selected but not the background just these right click on any one of those it doesn't really matter which one you want Go with all the way down the menu here to merge and merge selected because all these are selected. See, so just merge selected. And there you go. Now we have this one little picture here on its own background. And we're going to duplicate this. But first we're going to resize it. So let's go over to our little pen tool, the <coughs> our little pick and move tool here on the top right. And just drag it and resize it and I'm going to place it somewhere up about here I think that looks pretty good right click on our layer and duplicate and there we go we've got two copies now go to this middle copy the one here <coughs> use this little icon here to rotate it 180 degrees like so it'll snap into position and you can use this to accept it we're going to drag it down underneath this fish like so and then we're going to just flip it with the same that we did earlier flip selection horizontally like so and move it into place about there that looks nice now we need to fade this out to make it look like it's fading or like it's a reflection and to do that we need to go here to our gradient tool so click on the gradient tool. If you click on this little box where it says reset to default, so you get the black one and the white one, click on the white one and choose here. You see, this, this is transparent. Click OK and choose the, the black one 
and make sure it's white like so because we've got a white background and everything is white and we want it to be too transparent and now all we do is we drag from the bottom of this picture here drag it up to the top like so there and voila there is your reflection now you can mess around with this and you can you, you can bring that up see and you can make it how you like if you want it to go a little bit more that might be even better to be honest i like that click outside anywhere to deselect it and there you have your re reflection of your picture we could actually put in a drop shadow here near so if you go to the background layer click it once go over to our tools menu to this little square box here shape tool click it once make sure that it's got ellipse on it and just drag an ellipse somewhere just underneath like so on our picture and you get this little black and it says a shape here on our layers right click the shape all the way down convert to image like so go to our tools menu to the little harry potter wand here on the right hand side guided tools click it once photo effects blur tools and go into there click ok and there you can see it's already blurred for us you can increase it how you like i'm going to leave it about 33 i'm going to click ok and there you go really sweet right now if you click on the background layer make sure the background is selected go to our gradient tool reset this gradient tool so make sure you've got white click on the black choose another color let's choose this blue i'm going to click ok and then while the background is selected i'm going to drag from the top all the way down somewhere like that and there you go click outside and there's your 3d text with a reflection how cool is that i hope you've tried it yourself and come up with something really cool if you enjoyed this video tutorial don't forget to click subscribe give us a like ring that bell to be notified every time i upload new content go check out my channel for all things cyberlink and more that's my rant for today have a great day stay safe people